What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today, uh, we went to Smith's and I got some of these. These are the January wave of Ninjago Legacy sets. Um, this is the J, like, the temple. Um, and yeah, we have a sticky here for some saws and an anachondri on it. We have a crate here filled with rollerblades for the rollerblader challenge. This is, nin this, because I didn't say it before, this is Ninjago Season 4. Um, you know, Season 4 of Ninjago. Um... My personal favourite season here, uh, season four, and um, it's with Chen and the, you know, I got my finger stuck, I know, there's a buck stuck here, um, but it's with Chen and Izor where they turn into snakes at the end, um, and Chen needs all of the things, and we have a spell book here where if you open it up, it has how to turn into a snake on it, pretty cool, cool stuff, it just sits there, uh, there's spinning blades here, uh, which are the scythe piece, but in a green colour. All these, like, sword bits here are from the Ninjaga Gamum sets, um, but they're in a new colour. They're in a green, like, a lime green colour, and I'm quite cool. I'm quite glad about that. Um, there isn't upstairs. There is the jade blades here, which you have to go around and collect and bring back to Chen to make sure you passed. Um, in this... Vaz here, it is always the one on the left, or it tells you to put it in the one on the left. There is a jade blade hidden, um, and that is one of the play features of the set. You can have the ninja fight for the jade blades, and in that Vaz there is a jade blade, that Vaz there is not. There is two of them stickers here, and there is a stick, two stickers on this book, and that is all the stickers. Um, there is some bush area over here for, like, Bubba, or Bubbler, to use, um... And, uh, yeah, uh, there is a spinjitsu thing here. It's, like, glittery, like, translucent glittery and, like, gold to make it look like they're doing spinjitsu. I don't know which character this is for. It says it's Kai, but because it's clear and glittery, um, I would have more have said curl, like, because of the, you know, I probably said that was curl's spinjitsu thing, but it does tell you to put Kai in it. Um, I'm not too sure about that, um, I'm um, sure that tells me to put coal in it. No, Kai in it, but I think it's more coal. Um, and yeah, there is, like, quite a lot of figures to this set. Uh, there's about seven. Uh, and there is a Lloyd here, which comes on a stand for ten years of Ninjaga. And that is a print. That is a really nice chrome gold print. Um, ten Ninjaga years. Uh, this is the ten year anniversary of Ninjaga. <laughs> and we get this Lloyd. The golden figures are of the newer version of the characters, which is quite sad. So this is Jungle Lloyd, because he has the jungle headband here, which is quite useful. I wanted to get this for Tiny Tina custom, and a few Nar Naruto customs, because of, um, they all wear headbands. So this would be my Naruto head hair. Uh, so I want to get some of Bricks and Pieces. Uh, but I'm quite disappointed that the golden versions are the newer versions. They have no top printing. Oh, yeah, they do. There. Um, give me a second. Just so I can display the figure better. If I just move... Uh, wait, if I don't move that. Um, let me just put this here. Uh, and then zoom in on it. The gold versions are Digi J. Um, there you go, you can see him better. Digi J, uh, Night Call, uh, Legacy Kai, and Forest Lloyd. There is a gold woo in the Ninjago Garden set, and there is also um, a gold Zane and Nia yet to be revealed. Um, Zane is in his fire form due to the box telling you there is a lot of gold ones to collect. He is definitely the fire version, you know, like the Forbidden Spinjitzu version. And Nia, I don't know which version she is because she has her hair out. Um, so I don't know what version she is. Um, but this Lloyd has some nice torso printing here, some nice leg printing. Um, he does have the same nin head as the one from the Ninjaga movie, which is quite disappointing. And, um, yeah, that's about it, um, for Lloyd. He has a cool stand here, and I'm glad we get this. He has the green circles to show that it's Lloyd. Um, and yeah. Uh, back to the build, I just wanted to get that out the way. Um, it's a cool build, it's a nice little play set. Definitely get that Chen vibe from it. Um, it was a bit repetitive with these and these everywhere. Um, but overall, really cool area. 
I like the little dragon hilts here being used for like banisters. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry about that. I apologize. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, there is a nice training thing down here, and these can be moved up and down and disconnected. Pardon me again. And disconnected if you don't want them to. Same with this over here. Um, but yeah, moving on to the figures. Um, which are probably the best part of the set. This is like, uh, you know, last year when we got the Gamer Market, the minifigure pack from Jagger. This is what it is, the revamped version. So this is the new Izar, who has some cool new leg printing, some new torso printing, and a new face print from Izar last year. Um, I'm, I quite like Izar, and I like that we got a new face print. I just thought the eyes were the other way around, like the, you know, the like fake eye here. I thought it was there, but I could be wrong. My memory could be wrong, and Lego knows it better because it is their character. And there's a snake on the back because he does turn into an anaconda. He does have a long bone with an axe on the end to be his weapon. And um, yeah, it tells you to put the rollerblades on him. However, he did not take part in the trial, so I don't know why. Moving on to the Master of Fire, um, Kai, who has the nice uh, revamped version of the toss on legs here. I didn't get this version of Kai. I got... Uh, Two of the sets from this wave. Cole's... No. Can't, can't even talk. Um, Chen's um, jet, uh, which came with Skylar, um, Chen, and Izor. And then I got Co Lloyd's buggy. So I never got Kai, Zayn, Jay, or Cole in this outfit. Um, but now I have a Kai outfit, which looks quite cool here. Uh, with the leg print, torso print. Uh, head print and mask print. I'm not going to show you the head print because it is just a Lego Ninjaga movie one that's been in every Ninjaga set barring the Digi series. Um, and yeah, back to also printing looks quite cool there with his fire logo, his old fire logo, uh, because that's what they had on. Um, and yeah, he comes with this weird like mini scythe here, um, but that's it for Kai. Moving on to the next figure, which is Jay with some nunchucks, which is his nunchuck design has been changing throughout the years. And now they're using lightsaber hilts. But Jay also uses the same heads as from the Ninjago movie, but has his old logo on the back, which is so nostalgic. He has his old logo in, like, a shiny silver there. Um, and then his overall gi outfit. Uh, I like these gi outfits, uh, but I never got them, uh, which is quite a shame. Uh, but I have them now, which is quite cool. Uh, with the legs and all. Uh, just a really cool figure. I do like it. Um, I'm not sure of the differences because I don't have the originals. Um, but yeah, moving on to the other figures of the set. Here is... I forgot his name. He is the Master of Music and he has the uh, guitar here which looks like it's from Kirka but it isn't. Um, it would be a good, good custom for Kirka. Um, but yeah, this guitar in white here uh, has another thing on the back for them to hold. Uh, nice printing down here. Uh, just a really cool guitar piece really. Um, but moving on to the figure here, um, we have got all the masters of, you know, all the elemental masters now in Lego form. And if we take off his afro, he is blind and he uses music to see. He has a nice torso print, some small legs here, and a nice back torso print, and uh, back facial expression, which makes him look scared. Um, he did get left on Chen's Island, um in the season, because he didn't know what was happening, he couldn't call on his dragon, because he didn't know what everyone was talking about, and in the end credits, you could hear him talking, trying to ask where everybody went, but, you know, he couldn't see, so he didn't know everybody left him, uh, which was quite sad, um, and he wasn't there in the final fight. Um, some people still say he's on Chen's Island, because we haven't seen him again, um, and that's just quite sad, I think that's quite sad, so I'm glad to have him in Lego, and take him away from Chen's Island, uh, and uh, moving on to Bubba or Bubba, I don't really know the names very well, uh, but he is the master of nature, and he has one of the monkey kid staffs here, which could be used in a lightsaber hilt, like one of the longer ones in this cream colour here, which is really nice. We also have the vine at the end, and the staff is a nice back torso print with like a vines and vine tattoos and a pouch here. He's just wearing trousers, and he did go into Jay's room to try and steal the jade blade. He has got a bit of a belly there instead of a six-pack, but he has a lot of vine tattoos on him, which is quite cool. Also, he has the caveman head hair, which is the beard and hair, and this is my first time getting this piece, and it's a very cool piece. Also, another also-also, that face. 
right there. That face looks like Coltaz from The Fallen, or The Lowly, from the Ninjago, uh King of the Mountain series. Does that not? If you put a mullet on him, he is that version. So if we don't get a custom, uh, like, or an actual Coltaz, or, you know, the barbarian with the axe, talks to the axe, that is his exact head print, alright? So if we don't get a custom of him, or not custom, an actual version of him with that headpiece, I'm definitely buying another version of Bricks and Pieces and making him. Um, because, you know, that is the exact headpiece. Uh, moving on to the next figure, which is Gravis. I remember this guy's name. Um, who are you, Master of Gravity? Uh, these are the last three we needed to complete the Elemental Masters, because now if you go throughout all the Ninjago sets, you can collect all the Elemental Masters. The Master of Mind was in one of the Brick Turbo Packs, which I sadly could not get because I am from the UK. Um, he has a nice uh, glittery pieces here, which were introduced in the Lego Movie 2, in these like dish, glittery purple dish, dish, dish colours. Um, he has a nice torso print there, um, with his belt and the spiral on the atom, and some lines. He has a nice sideburn beard, like, moustache thing going on there. I really like that. And in this other version, his moustache is flying up, so I assume he's, like, meditating and flying upwards with gravity. Because he did do that in one of the episodes of Ninjago, which was really cool. And, um, yeah. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. Uh, I rate this set really highly. It's a very cool set. Uh, but other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. See you all in the next one. Have a nice day, and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.